it is sufficiently evident from the experience in Kar Parish thus Saturday the 17th of June 2023 that the pastoral visit of a bishop to any parish here in Kumbu is a moment of grief. One would dare to say thus in connection with the two days visit of Bishop George of Kumbu to St. Mary's Parish in Kar because it was honestly a joy-giving experience for all communities and institutions that were greased by the bishop's presence. After a timid reception into the parish premises caused by the rains thus early Saturday morning, the bishop greeted a few present and behold, the arrival in the Nkhar Palace was just awesome. While some funds are reserved about issues of religion and others have embraced Islam and made it the identity of their palaces, His Royal Highness the Fon of Nkar has wholeheartedly welcomed the Catholic feast. In this palace of Nkar is an outstation of the Nkar parish known as the St. Patrick Mission in Toka. Inaugurated in the year 2017, His Royal Highness has offered lands for the construction of the church building. He has also opened a primary school in the palace. in our presence today, the 17th June 2023. We have relentlessly kept our pastoral activities ongoing. After the acquisition of a piece of land, thanks to His Royal Highness, we have already completed the construction of the foundation of our church, which we look forward to its completion in the days ahead. We are currently laying blocks for the raising of the walls, which will be completed soon. One of the challenges we face in this mission station is the growing number of children who have difficulties attending their school in the main mission due to insecurities. To this effect, our royal father has managed to start a nursery and a primary in the palace. The primary school is up to class four. However, the enrollment where these children are studying is not conducive. We plead on our Lord to come to our aid to give these children conducive studying environment. Car is synonymous to Catholicism, and that is why it is strange to come from Car without being a Catholic. This is the reason why our phone is determined to see that the Catholic Church is planted right in the seat of the palace. From here, Jesus Christ shall permit all our cultural values and live in our midst with an empowering presence. We know we cannot attain this object without the support of his Lordship. We plead on you to challenge our sons and daughters to support this venue. History shall never forget that the Catholic Church was planted in Car Palace during the reign of Bishop George Nko as the second residential bishop of Nka. <laughs> bishop George! <laughs> I don't know any other place in this diocese, and even beyond, we will get not only a small Christian community, but a mission station in the palace approved. Even in the Vitox, no, I approve, but the fund be behind everything that takes place here. I'd like to congratulate you now for this is my mission station in the party. For being an example. And I know say 
when I talk to now Bishop of Kumbu, I think that Papa for Roma even though say there is a mission station here because when the the phone went to Rome, it was very clear that mission station therefore for palace. For palace. You know, they set an example which I think other palaces need to follow and follow well. Strong in the faith because we recognize that, that God is the Almighty and He the rule we and through His power, power comes among us and that through that power <laughs> people can live together in peace. The peace where we all the hunger and we long for. Every single Sunday there is mass here. Where do they, where else do we have it in the whole the whole world even? God, that every Sunday we call on God to come and bless our phone, to bless our land, to bless the people on God from this palace every Sunday. While the palace beamed with music, the phone made a brief speech right in the sitting room and presented a peace plant to the bishop that was blessed by the Pope when this phone went on pilgrimage to Rome. This is for you. This is the thinking that I took from this palace and went with it to Rome and then kept another one in Rome, then brought my own and planted it in the palace. So we will take this now to go and plant the Bishop Sartora Center. This is was blessed by the Pope. Through hidden places, we moved to the Foklare Hall because His Royal Highness is a strong proponent of the Foklare movement. That room is for you and the priest and the whole other When they come to the palace, they will stay. The bishop proceeded to run mission, a vibrant Christian community still living in an old dilapidating building. However, they asked for the help of the bishop in order to complete the almost complete befitting structure they are raising. It is worth noting that the fund of Nkaras equally offered land for the construction of a presbytery and a catechist house as the people of Ran who are not yet a Eucharistic center, even aspire to become a parish in the nearest perceptible future. St. Stephen Mission Run was created in 1964. Our main challenge now is the completion of this new church building. As we are experiencing growth, we are envisaging the creation of a Eucharistic center <laughs> and later on become a parish. <laughs> <laughs> has already given us a piece of land 
just opposite the mission, the mission yard, on the upper side of the road for the construction of the father's house and the Kataki's house. <laughs> The last outstation in Kar is the St. Thomas Aquinas Mission Taron, where the Christians made a very warm welcome. They equally live in an old dilapidating structure for a church building. But a giant structure is being raised for befitting worship. Thank you for this wonderful visit of our Lord Sheep, the Bishop of Kumu, Bishop Joshko, in our mission, Taron Mission. The chief shepherd of Kumbo did not ignore the sick as he made a stop in the Our Lady of Lords Medical Life Center to lay hands on the sick and to bless three newborn babies. Before the working session uh, that was scheduled for 1 p.m., uh, the bishop made a final stop at the St. Mary's Modern Primary School on the construction. It is in the context of the working session uh, that the key internal issues affecting the life of the parish would be addressed. Father Jude Tala Kaburinyo Ibensakai for Radio Evangelium Kumo Online. I wish that uh, everybody will come out tomorrow for the solemn mass that we celebrated with uh, confirmation with close to 221 candidates. We say welcome to him and that we wish that we have a good stay in Car Parish. In the Christian spaces, we are so happy to receive him, even though we are disturbed by rain. Other people will, will still be coming later. And before the bishop will leave here, we are going to sort out everything for the growth of the church, for the growth of the diocese. And we are so happy to receive him.